I started the Stumpy Nubs YouTube channel almost a decade ago. In fact, we're going to celebrate 10 years this fall. I launched our e-magazine, Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, back in 2015. And back then it was almost entirely an embedded compilation of our YouTube videos. It could only be viewed on the website. In fact, it was really just a web page made to look kind of magazine-y. But we published 24 issues of the old journal over three years. Then we put it on hold because it had become pretty popular and we wanted to redesign it, make it look more professional. That was 2018 and that hold lasted for three years. Why so long? Well, there were a lot of reasons, mostly because I was working alone back then and I just couldn't grow our YouTube channel and publish the e-magazine by myself. I even considered just dropping it for a while. But tens of thousands of folks had signed up for that e-magazine list and they were anxiously awaiting for it to come back. I didn't want to disappoint them, and truth be told, I wanted to bring it back too. So that's why I kept promoting it at the end of our videos all that time. And it's why I kept the journal part in the Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal name. So for three years, I kept saying the e-magazine's coming back, and now it finally has. Not like it was, though. The new Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal is so much better than before. And I think it's worth making this quick video just so you know what it is, how it's made, and what to expect in future issues. It's much like a regular woodworking magazine, but don't misunderstand me. I am not putting it on the level with like Fine Woodworking or Woodsmith or any of those print journals. The major magazine publishers have large staffs of editors and page designers and contributors and pro marketing professionals and they're multi-million dollar operations and they put out beautiful print journals. This one here, I subscribe to all of them and I would never suggest that somebody not subscribe to one of these because they get our e-magazine. This one is um, 48 pages if you take out the ads. It contains 14 great articles. Ours is a little smaller. It's 36 pages and it contains 10 articles. It's also exclusively digital. You download it in PDF format and you read it on your computer, your tablet, your phone, whatever you have. You can save it on your device and read it where you don't have an internet connection or you can archive it for a rainy day. It's admittedly a little less polished than the major magazines. I'm sure some scrutiny will reveal flaws, but we don't have a team of editors and page designers. I wrote all the articles in the magazine myself. Office Amy edited all the text. I did the layout and the page design. I built the projects in this first issue, though Danny and Pete will definitely be contributing to projects in future issues. Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, then, is an effort of just a handful of people with a small budget in a relatively small facility in a small town. But I think once you download and read the first issue, you'll agree it is remarkable what such a small team can accomplish. So you can call it a newsletter, call it an e-magazine, call it whatever you like. But I think you can expect big things from our little journal. Our subscriber list is already more than 70,000. Granted, it is a free publication. But it may not always be, because we hope to increase its size and content over the next few years. In the meantime, we plan to publish five or six issues a year. We aren't going on a set schedule, but the goal is a new issue every couple months, give or take a few weeks. Each issue will feature a regular woodworking project and a shop-related project. But these aren't your typical step-by-step -step build articles. Honestly, how many of you actually build the projects you see in magazines? If you're like me, you just skim through those issues or those articles looking for the highlights. So we've condensed our projects down to the most useful highlights. We discuss the project concept, the challenges we may have encountered during the build, and in the case of jigs and homemade tools, how to use them when they're finished. If you decide you do want to build one of the projects, then you can get detailed plans separately on our website. Each issue will also feature a section we call the Router Workshop. This time it's a tutorial about sharpening router bits. And each issue will also contain a section called table saw skills. This time it's about making runners for jigs and sleds. The goal of these recurring sections are to help you get more out of these two essential power tools. This and future issues of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal will also include various other comprehensive tutorial articles, such as this one about choosing plywood, and this one about applying a distressed finish to pine. Of course, you can always expect to find an introductory article about the workshop and various quick tip articles. This first issue also has a cool tools section, which is based upon our popular video series of the same name. 
We haven't decided if this will appear in each future issue yet. Down the road, I hope to expand the e-magazine by allowing others to contribute their project articles. Maybe some shop tours, maybe some tips. If you'd like to contribute, please contact me through the questions page on our website. If you'd like to sign up for an email subscription, you can do that at stumpynubs.com, but we haven't begun sending emails out yet. There's still some work to be done on that end. So if you've signed up in the past and haven't gotten anything, please be patient, but you can always get the latest issue right on the website. I don't need to go on and on about this since I'd rather you just went over to stumpynubs.com and downloaded the new issue, but I thought it was important to explain to our viewers what the new e-magazine is about and what our plans are for it in the future. I appreciate all the patience so many have shown while this has been in the works, and I am confident you'll find it worth the wait. Power carving is a blast. You should try it sometime. Grab some scrap wood and some carbide burrs from Sabertooth Power Carving Tools and just give it a go. You may be surprised what you're capable of, like this folk art eagle I made from 2x6s. Check out what Sabertooth has to offer at the link below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up, or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.